to the uh, Midwest Sports Show, everyone. How the hell is everyone? My name is uh, Tough Crowd. I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's my old uh, open mic days. There you go. Tough How Crowd. How is everyone? All right. So my name is uh, Chris Stotts, and uh, that's uh, Gene Steichen. Rather be in Iowa. Welcome to the uh, the Midwest Sports Show. I want to be part of the process. Gene, if you're not part of the process, you're part of the problem. That's right. I want right. to be part of the solution. You know, I never did vote in the caucus. I didn't know what they were <laughs> when, back when, when I when, I, mean, I left when I was young. When did you leave? Yeah, when did when uh, right Gene? after college. But All I right, so you were twenty two? Yeah, but why didn't we do it in college? They didn't teach you that? What well, was there Iowa caucuses back in the day? It, I don't know. Has it always been I a thing? I think so. And it's such a weird system. It seems so because people gather They'll go to, they go to like a public place, I don't know, a bunch of people, and they, you don't vote, you argue about stuff. You form teams, right? Yeah, something like that. And then the teams vote on who they want? Yeah, I think so. It's like a, it's like a, I it's think it's they started out in barns. But it's you know a, it's amazing? like a real life Senate. But Iowa, it, I, it's pretty cool, but they're awful important. It, they're more important than California is, really, I mean, because they get it going. When Hillary lost to Obama, she never recovered from that. So, yeah, but I mean, I, I think people in, forget in how Iowa. much people forget stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, like like in why two months. California is like why is Iowa so important, and we're stuck at the end because you know. Well, I guess they moved California up. So they uh, did move it up. Yes. Yeah. But uh, yeah. All right. Well, will you? Uh, I, anyway, I uh, I never. I and like why are they doing call. it on a Monday? Why? It's wh- Super Monday. I was, but another thing, I was by themselves. They get the whole spotlight on them. Well, why don't they cool. do? Uh, why don't they do it on a Tuesday? Right? Doesn't everyone vote on yeah. Tuesdays? Super Tuesday. That's here. California is Super Tuesday. It's in March, I think. Sometime. Well, Gene, you know, the, and, and people oh. say like, why? Why is New Hampshire and Iowa, right. blah blah blah? Why do these states get to go first and all that stuff? It's because they want to be able to control who wins the nomination. That's there why. you go. It's not. It's not. <laughs> this is not yeah. uh, up for grabs. These candidates. Okay? They know gonna exactly sp- what they they're want. They're going to spend more time in Iowa than they are in California when it comes down to it. Because the whole point of system. Iowa, right, Gene? Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. Is that you win, and then people are like, oh yeah, he won Iowa, so uh, right. I'm going to vote for him. Well, a lot of lot, yeah, and a lot of lot of candidates, if they do poorly tonight, Mike Bloomberg, then they should have the good sense to. Um, Bow bow out. This is where that one crazy guy. Remember a few years ago, the guy that was yelling, and then he John Dean. Oh no no. uh, Yeah, something Dean. Uh, Hey, uh, I wanted him to win. Yeah, he never. John Dean. It's not John Dean. No, that's the uh, Watergate lawyer. But but Howard Dean. Howard Dean. Yeah, governor from Vermont. That was like the only candidate. I would trip him up, never to recover. Yeah. Well, again, that was one of those things where the establishment did not want that guy to win. So. yeah, he uh, may have yelled at a rally, but uh, yeah. the fact that everyone up played. Uh, kids, go. <laughs> this is a uh, riveting uh, ca- campaign yeah. 2004 right, talk. So, uh, uh, the kids vote. love this. Right, right, right. Vote. That's um, good. Yeah, well, what about your mom? Gene, your mom's into yeah, politics. What, mom, what is she, she doing? She's looking at Mayor Pete. Is she doing the caucusing? I, I don't know if she does. She always votes. She does always vote. But I, I don't think. I think she's done it, but she's 83, so I'm not sure she's. It's a lot of work, and it's probably yeah. snowing right now in Iowa. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know, but she's big <laughs> on politics. But I, I believe she's thrown her weight behind uh, Mayor Pete so far. Yeah, I, I, lo- I love the fact that uh, you know this whole democracy thing. We're gonna let a state. Right. Uh, a little tiny state who uh, gets all of these uh, crazy farm corn subsidies. <laughs> We're going to hold a caucus, not an election, a caucus. Right. In Iowa. Yeah. Uh, in February. Right. Uh, and we're going to have this m- have a major impact yeah, and, and on the Democratic nomination. Oh, any nomination. I guarantee a lot of people in Iowa don't know what a caucus is. And uh, I'm. Sh- yeah, did you, yeah, did you yeah. study that in no, high school? No, not really. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember studying it. And then for <laughs> sure, people around the world are what, what the hell is a caucus? And why? But I don't know. It makes Iowa. I'm I'm proud of them that we're in the well, spotlight. So do the right thing, guys. I don't know what that yeah, means. Keep on keep on chucking out that corn syrup. There we'll be go. okay, and you'll get yeah. you guys will get your money. Mm. All right. Um. All right. Well, Gene, it's uh, very exciting times. Right. Um. Caucus. We'll see what happens with the caucus yeah, tomorrow night. night. Right. Right. And uh, but Gene. Yeah. It's uh. 
It is uh, Super Monday. That is so great. The day, the oh day after God. the Super Bowl. I know people like the Niners, but they've won enough. I it was such a great story for Cam. I felt. I mean, I was just so happy for him. And I I gotten to the point where I was like, oh, I already prepared myself for it. what a bummer. Oh boy, <laughs> another <laughs> tough loss for Andy Reid. Oh boy. All right. Well, we will uh, we'll get to all that in a minute. But Gene, where and when? I watched that. Did you watch it? I want because I want to focus. I get nervous did watching games that are really important. Did, so. did you have the sound on? Yes, I did. I did. I did have the sound on. I wait. When did I turn it off? I think I turned it off during the second quarter, but then I put it back up. And oh yeah, for a halftime I did. Then I I kept the sound on in the second half. But Troy is great. Troy and Joe, but they're great. You know. Yeah, although uh, there's a couple penalties they didn't really mention. Ooh, okay. Like uh, some guy hit uh, Garoppolo yeah. in the face oh, at one right, time. Right, Yeah. I think mm-hmm. they may have actually waved that flag away, but they didn't even mention it. And then actually uh, it was like uh, one of those late throws um, at the end there. Was, they, someone went after his knees, you know, pretty. Ooh. So I, they didn't even call the that either. The refs really didn't want to. It seemed like the referees really didn't want to get involved. Ch- trying much. to let them play. Yeah, even so even play. when that we even when the clock ran down to zero, and it was like, okay, it's at zero, okay, but they let it go. But yeah, they really, which I appreciate, they did get involved with George Kittle, the Iowa guy, Iowa Hawkeye. That that was kind well, of well, the fun. guy the guy pushes off, and people yeah. were complaining about this, but the guy pushes off every single goddamn yeah. play. Yeah, and you can see him like push off, right? And I like that Richard Sherman got torched. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, yeah, no I, 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 I sent a text to all my friends to be like, "F you, F you, Sherman." <laughs> he got real. Hey, what about that? Oh, that might be in your odds and ends, but Devontae Adams, didn't he? Uh, what was he the MVP for the no, Pro Bowl for the Packers? Well, I don't know what this is. Oh, no. uh, he texted uh, Sherman. Didn't Devontae Adams burn uh, uh, Sherman really bad for the 65-yard touchdown? Yeah, I believe. Yeah, yep. that sounds right. And then he told Sherman what to do. Or he told uh, he told the receiver for the Chiefs, whoever what that was. Oh, how to beat him? Yep. Tyreek Hill. And even after the game, he told he told that story. Uh, the Chiefs guy saying that he he thanked um he the thanked Devontae, Devontae Adams? Adams on Twitter and in public. Wow. Yeah. Well, ergo, uh, the Packers are Super Bowl champions, right? There we go. Could they have won without Devontae Adams? Because <laughs> uh, that, t- that was huge. I don't think so. Boy, that was a big play. Um, all right, we don't have to go through the whole oh, game, okay. but I, I thought it was a pretty good game. It was great. I thought it was in a, you, you know, it was, uh, you know, 10-10, first half, all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah, Um, I thought it was a defensive effort. I, w- I I'm like everyone else. I was surprised the Niners kind of shut it down at the end of the. I was well, happy they did, but yeah, they well they could have called a timeout, right? Because mm-hmm. it was two minutes. I guess yeah, I wasn't really paying had a attention. Lot of time, yeah, and they had all three timeouts left. Two minutes left. They they let the 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 Chiefs punt, let the clock go all the way down, yeah. run two plays, and get yeah. you know decent yards. I think if I recall, ne- don't call a timeout, and then uh, they finally called a timeout when they got Chiefs like twenty seconds. The timeout. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then they then the Niners made a big play, and then uh, yeah, and then later on in the game, I think I I read something like there's like twenty no uh, maybe like ten runs, ten passes in the first half for the Niners. Yeah, and the second half it was like ten runs and like twenty passes or whatever. So they did uh, the exact exact opposite to the mm-hmm. Packers. Yeah, and Jimmy G, you know, he threw an interception. That was didn't, didn't, did not look great. He was a, a little shaky. I think it was three for eight and 36 yards, like the last three drives or yeah, something like that. he was good early. but And yeah. I watched these teams, you know, beat the Packers and then uh, lay an egg, you know, the yeah. next game. And I'm just like, hey, wow, how about uh, how about you do that when the Packers Mem- are in town? How about that? Remember when played the Packers? The Packers couldn't get a stop. I mean, uh, uh, when Kansas City scored to get 2017, then the Niners got the ball back, three and out. Yeah. Where was that last and, and week? Two, two or weeks? two or two passes, I believe, too. Yeah, right? yeah. So they helped out the Chiefs by stopping the clock. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Um. Although there were some. Uh, so yeah, Mahomes basically it was twenty ten. Mahomes throws an interception, and it, lo- it looks it's looking pretty good. That was is that when the Niners all grim. went in the end zone? So it was basically eight. Celebrating. Yeah, that's possible. Uh, um, it was I think it was like nine minutes or whatever. Kansas City stops them, gets the ball back for Mahomes. 
leads them down for a touchdown. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, and then they get the ball back again. Another, they're not not going for three. They're not going for three points. No way. They uh they go for fourteen. They go up by four, twenty four to twenty. Yeah. Uh, leaving the 49ers with like I don't know like two minutes and thirty maybe it was like three minutes yeah, or something. Yeah. And by the way, uh, there was a couple of times where the Chiefs players, all they had to do was like get down and cl- uh, bleed the clock out. Mahomes did a run. He stepped out of bounds. Yeah. And then uh, I think it was Williams, Damian Williams, the running back for the yeah. Chiefs. He ran out of bounds too. And I'm just like, hey guys, uh, you're about to score here, but uh, you know you I want know. you want the clock going. Right, right, right. You want yeah. the clock to move it for sure. It looked like a uh, Andy Reid clock management special coming up, but uh, did not happen. Uh, The 49ers get the ball back with 2.44, 2 minutes, 44 seconds. And uh, this is it, Gene. It's Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo. That's when I love that Kansas City brought the heat. Tom Brady's uh, backup. A lot of people are saying the uh, Patriots got fleeced on that trade. Yeah. And now they're stuck with uh, old man Brady, old man Tom. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, Jimmy, it's Jimmy Garoppolo's turn to uh, to win the game, to win the Super Bowl. To not, uh, not not this Super Bowl, Jimmy G. Well, Jimmy G looked like Jimmy shit. <laughs> uh, is that who? Jimmy shit. Oh, oh, Jim- I see. Oh, an actual. Oh, okay, I got Jimmy you. shit. Yeah. All right. I uh, think that's self-explanatory. Four, four downs. I, they may have gotten a first down or whatever, but basically they uh, they're uh, out on downs or yeah. turnover on downs. Yeah, and the then fourth down was when uh, it, Chiefs were all over him, and then yeah. he was wrapped up. And yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, misses a deep throw, too. Oh yeah, that guy misses a deep throw wow. to uh, Sanders, Emmanuel Sanders. Right? That one was scary because Sanders, he was, gosh, he was open. He had him beat. It's easy, and it wasn't that tough of a throw. <laughs> well. All right. <laughs> well, whatever. I, okay. I, uh, it was a pretty tough throw, Gene. Well, All right. I mean, he's he's in mean, the Super Bowl. I mean, he's got guys running Aaron after him. Aaron Rodgers or Mahomes would have made that. Uh, most quarterbacks would have. Made. Yeah. That that was a. Yeah. That was a big play. That's wow. Tough. That was huge. That's tough. And then also, you know, it's one of those things where you see a guy that wide open. It's like, how much air do you put underneath it, right? Yeah. Well, that's, that's not, why you get paid a lot of money. <laughs> but that. No. There's no excuse for missing that. Yep. Nope. None. So uh, Kansas City gets the ball back. And uh, they're just running out the clock, just running yeah. the ball down. And uh, Chiefs pull off like a big forty-yard run, score a touchdown. Yeah. That was Damian Williams. P- yeah, put yeah. the uh, puts the game away. Yeah. And uh, you know, again, the 49ers, if they just would have stuck with the run instead of trying to pass it all the time, I mean, they're gonna you know break a big forty-yard run like that, a TD run. So they, uh, man, they really they really they're screwed it up. Heat. Although I didn't. Yeah. You know, I, I I thought it was uh, not the greatest, but now actually now that I'm thinking about it, and I, after I hear everyone talk about, it, yeah, I think Kyle Shanahan really uh, really screwed up. Yeah, on top of uh, the Super Bowl game when he was with Atlanta against the, the Patriots, yeah, he's getting some heat. I mean, he went from the genius level to like, what the hell are you doing, Kyle? Yeah. But yeah, I'm so happy for him. And then at the end, when. Uh, <laughs> That was funny when Patrick Mahomes kept going backwards. To oh, yeah. Know, then he caught the over-under. Did you see that? Uh, the, um, yeah, well, he kept on losing a bunch of yards. Yeah, uh, usually he nailed a yard behind the line. But he lost 15 yards in three plays, which took yeah. him to the under on his rushing attempts. Yeah. And then on fourth down, did you see that fourth down play? Yeah, he, he chucked it down. That guy was wide open. If he would have connected, <laughs> that would have been the over. Wouldn't that have been a weird one? Yeah, wow. I, I, I didn't realize that part of it. So. Yeah, I mean, he threw a bomb. Just said, Andy Reid said, just throw it down the field. But the Chiefs guy was running down there. There's nobody around him. Richard wow. Sherman was, uh, uh, of course, in not where he was supposed to be. And, yeah, if he would have connected on that, it would have been 38-20. All the wow, other money would have cool. come in. Oh, that would have been neat. Yeah. All right. Great, so uh, I thought it was a great game. Really. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was entertaining. Uh, you know, boy, the, the Chiefs they don't panic. That's amazing. They did not panic. Yeah, even the defense. I mean, the defense stiffens defense up, and they know huge. if they get the ball back to Patrick yeah, Mahomes. Yeah, yeah, It's going to get done. So, Patrick Mahomes, he had two interceptions, but he uh, still should have been the M- I, gets the I MVP. I mean, I've heard other people. B- Bill Simmons wanted Damian Williams. 
Uh, but, gosh, Patrick, what he did well, last Well, tell you what, minutes, give the ball to Damian Williams those last two drives. See what he does with the ball. Yeah. I, he ain't throwing the ball down to Tyreek I mean, Hill. Uh, Patrick, Mal, he deserves it just on those last six minutes. That That's legendary what he did. Yeah, they the Chiefs would not have won that game if Patrick oh Mahomes God. was not playing. No Ergo, I think that's the most yeah, valuable player. Yeah, and even right? to throw two interceptions and then to d- just keep going like that. Wow. Well, one of the interceptions, uh, the guy, f- uh, f- what do you call it, did fumble it, but, uh, yeah. you know, you know, tip tip the ball. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, yeah. Uh, Aaron Rodgers knows all about those interceptions. Yeah. Those interceptions don't really count. And, uh, yeah, so fun game. Andy Reid awesome. gets so the Super great. Bowl ring. Oh, my gosh. After uh, so many years of. Uh, he was so great. Oh, my gosh. What a great story. And the Kansas City fans, except they still do the war hawk, war chant, the tomahawk chop. That that seems kind of outdated, but eh, that's equivalent. Well, can we well. can we remove that for next year? Yeah, I mean, uh, let's be sensitive to. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, who, who am I? To Jim okay. Thorpe, all right. Yeah, let's be yeah, sensitive do what to you Jim want, Thorpe. Kansas City. Um, all right, and then uh, yeah, uh, so Patrick Mahomes his third year, third Amazing. year he's already a Super Bowl MVP. Amazing. Um, how many more is he going to be? Uh, you know, like a Tom Brady where he gets yeah. ten. Yeah. God, this guy could win 10 Super Bowls. Or, or is he going to be an Aaron Rodgers right. where right. he only Who gets won? one? He won when he – Aaron Rodgers won when he's 26, right? Yep. But, yeah, that, but that was like his sixth year, though. In the, uh, yeah. Maybe it was his fourth or whatever. But still, yeah. yeah. I mean, but, wow, so, so great. We'll and then the parade. Oh, the whole thing was so great. Oh, wow. Oh. So 50 years. They haven't F-A. won a Super Bowl in 50 years. Yeah. 19 uh, – what? 1970. 1970. Yeah. Uh, my friend Keith, uh, who was a uh, Chiefs fan during the '90s, when they were terrible, the, the Chiefs, the Chiefs were awful. Yeah, there was that one good kind of two years when uh, Joe Montana kind of came in yeah. when he got traded. Right. But then there were, I mean, these teams were like four and twelve, like yeah. every single year, forever until Andy Reid came in. Wow. And um, there you go. And it's also a painful reminder because I, I listen to ESPN Chicago and <laughs> just like they just can't they it just makes it b- more can't, painful. Can't let it go. Patrick Mahomes is the super, when they could have drafted him. Boy, that's a. Uh, th- uh, Gene, if there's any consolid- it's con- consolidation, mm. consolidation is that the right word? Yeah. Uh, the Bears would have ruined Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, so they I, I don't think uh, John Fox wouldn't have let him pass. Well, well look at look at uh, when Patrick Mahomes was at Texas Tech, they didn't do anything. So uh, Clip Clip Kingsbury, their coach, kind of yeah. I don't. That's, that's so weird. It's like there's footage of uh, Patrick Mahomes doing crazy Patrick Mahomes stuff, oh, like yeah, in college, yeah, right? Yeah, he was great in college, <laughs> uh, but the team wasn't very good. Yeah, and then Clip Kingsbury well, still got a job. Yeah, well, uh, maybe uh, maybe it's okay to draft a uh, quarterback who's uh, half black. I mean, it was only half black, Gene. I, I, okay. I mean, are, are we there yet? Can the can yes, the Bears? I think so. Even like a half black guy. They screwed I mean, up. I, I know time. Lamar Lamar Miller. They, he's they, super they, super dark. They're never gonna they're never gonna live this one down. They're done for. Uh, well, we'll see. But this is a tough one for them. Yeah. All right. By the way, uh, Patrick Mahomes, the first uh, black. Quarterback since Roger Craig or uh, from the uh, no uh, Frank Williams from oh. the Redskins. No, no, no. Well, I guess you could say Russell Wilson. Oh, that was in that was. Oh yeah, Russell. Doug Wilson. Williams. Doug, Doug Williams. Williams. Yeah. 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 Yep. All right. I guess Russell. Well, Wil- Russell Wilson. I think he's like Indian though, is he? Mm, don't know. All right. Never. All right. So Gene, I got some more odds and ends. All right. Because the NFL season does not stop. Oh. Uh, you're talking about Richard Sherman earlier. Uh, Richard Sherman told David Lombardi of TheAthletic.com that he rejected a Lions offer, which included more guaranteed money, primarily because he didn't want to play there. Mm. Uh, but that uh, that's not the kind of football I want to play, Sherman said. The way that you run your scheme, your culture, you want to do it the Patriots way, and that's really not the way I do football. You want to do it the Patriots way, and that's really not the – so I don't understand that. Is he saying he wants to do it the Patriots way? I mean, Ma- Matt Patricia is from the Patriots. Yeah. Like I so. They, they, uh, he's confused. Yeah, or maybe he I'm might. He might be begging to go to the lines next year after he gets cut in the uh, off season. I have fun. I like music at practice. I like to hang out and be oh, relaxed yeah. in meetings. I don't like the stressful environment in football. The lines condition every day after practice. My body's been built to run all day and night. I'll be prepared. 
but I don't have to uh, be run into the ground. Detroit Lions, Gene. Free free agents are welcome. <laughs> free agents, come on down. Oh, by the way, yeah. Uh, what's her name? That old lady that owns them. They they trotted Ford? out. They, uh, they, yeah, I couldn't tell. Was that her or uh, Virginia? Uh, yeah, McCaskey. She I, was there. That was the Bears owner. How can you tell the difference? Well, she was wearing a Bears uh, 100-year oh. anniversary. That's the only reason I knew that was her. Yeah, she's I think ninety four. Something like Are you that. sure it wasn't the Hunt, one of the Lamar Hunt's uh, wives? Uh, or something? she was there too. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, I I don't know. All right, uh, so Calgary, so we got some Bears news here, Gene. Oh boy, a little bit of Bears news. Mm-hmm. Ca- Calgary cornerback Trey Roberson, thought to be the top CFL free agent this year, will sign with the oh, Chicago yeah, yeah. Bears. Yeah, per a source. Um, fix him. Roberson chose the chose the Bears over nine other offers. Mm-hmm. Well, Gene, I mean, if you're in Calgary, yeah, Chicago probably looks like a goddamn uh, mm-hmm. Miami. Yeah. It was 50 in Chicago yesterday, which I think almost – it might have set a record for February. So, uh, yeah, good for them. That doesn't really help them much on their offensive side Bears, where they don't have Patrick Mahomes. Bears are expected to give Roberson the largest CFL to NFL compensation since Miami signed Cameron Wake. And guess what, Gene? Yeah. It's all in poutine. <laughs> I'm guessing that is that Canadian? It's all in poutine, <laughs> Gene. <laughs> all right. Gene, you don't know what poutine? Uh, Canadian Maybe? currency? It's, it's fried. No, Gene, it's those fries with gravy on there. Oh, okay. Am I saying it correctly? Poutine. Yeah, it's poutine, uh, right? Why not? Yeah, okay, I'll say you are. Sure. <laughs> poutine. Yeah. It's all in poutine, Gene. <laughs> all right. Uh, there we go. Some more uh, contract news. Yeah. Dak Prescott on Mike McCarthy's Super Bowl pedigree. He was uh, asked about Mike McCarthy. What, uh, when a guy has has that and he comes to the locker room to lead, people want to follow. There you go. I mean, it can't be any worse. Not that that's saying much, but it, it's got to be better than Jason Garrett. But oof. So Dak Prescott is saying uh, he thinks Mike McCarthy is a leader. Yeah. Well, he better because Dak Prescott's next contract is going to depend on him since it looks like they're going to franchise him, right? Well, they're negotiating the contract right now, Gene, and he's uh, negotiating against uh, Jerry Jones fr- Yeah, from from Jerry's yacht, apparently. What's Jerry offering? And, uh, well, Gene, you, you, All you can eat. You know, poutine. <laughs> All right. You know, uh, you know, there's a famous Mark Twain quote, Gene. Yes. It says, uh, make them, lo- he said, you know, it says, uh, let them think you're a fool oh, as opposed to opening up your mouth and proving them all right. Yeah, yeah. Dak Prescott saying Mike McCarthy is a leader. Dak, you just you just let Jerry know you're an idiot. Oh boy. You're dumber than you look, Dak. I okay. think Mike uh we'll see. No, I'm just joking. Maybe a bit. Right, I, I I wish him the best. I yeah, wish him the best. Yeah. All right, and then uh Mitch Trubisky underwent surgery to repair, repair a partially torn labrum in his, in his left shoulder. non-throwing yeah. shoulder. I mean, what what was it? Do you need your non-throwing shoulder to be an effective quarterback? No, Gene? yeah, he he shouldn't have his shoulder. It, it that's not what his problem is. Yeah, accuracy. That's not. Yeah, we'll see. Oof, this is gonna be All a right. tough offseason. And then uh, we got some Packers news. Oh. Uh, Packers captain Zadaria Smith told uh, Chris Sims and Pro Football Talk that the Packers would leave a little bit earlier to help get adjusted on West Coast trips in the future. Mm-hmm. We weren't ready to play football versus the 49ers in the championship game, he said, uh, which includes uh, three games in California that were pretty much disasters. Wow. Um I know, Gene, maybe Matt LaFleur could get some help on doing the uh, Pacific Standard Time calculations. Subtract two hours from the clock, uh, Matt. Seems to be an issue uh, over there in uh, Lambeau Field. I know time zones is, uh, you know. Pretty tricky. You know, I know know Appleton is about uh, 15 minutes away in Nina, Wisconsin. (laughs) Two hours, but uh, talking time zones here, buddy. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Okay. 
All right. So uh, <laughs> it was anyway. Great day. Go, yeah. Bill Murray. Oh my uh, God! Can uh, we just? Uh, I, uh, well, did anyone felt super depressed that Bill Murray is uh, pr- probably his best film? Yeah. Of all time, right? I mean, just right. pure like film, oh, like sure. like sure. story and right. meaning, right. and right, 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 and uh, you know jokes and all that stuff. Yeah. And here we go once again, Gene. A uh, comedy from our, you know, or a memory yeah, from the yeah, '90s. Yeah. Just hoard on out, out. hoard on out to, hoard, to make to make a hoard. buck. Yeah, but it was good. What was the what were they advertising? It was, it was it a was Jeep, a right? Jeep. Wasn't it a Jeep? Yeah, but it's only the second time the Super Bowl has been on Groundhog Day. By the way, if, if you're under 20 years old, you know like what any of that stuff I know is about. Well, yeah, maybe not. Groundhog. Hey, it's gonna be a uh, quick spring, early spring this year, so I hope that's true. But Bill, yeah. Bill, Bill got paid though, right? So oh, yeah. he would have done it without. Yeah. Getting, he probably got. God, did he get oh, ten million dollars for that? Had a lot. I bet yeah. he got over five million dollars. Yeah. All right, so good, fun, fun, fun day. Yeah. Blah blah blah. All right. Okay. All right, and then Gene, we're gonna oh, move. We're gonna move over the hoops. That's the guy from lacrosse. And uh, you were watching uh, the Iowa Wisconsin basketball Iowa's game got a last really week. Good team. Wisconsin's got a good team too. They lose a lot, but they did beat <laughs> Michigan State. And uh, did they w- beat them this yep. weekend? There yep. you go. Nice. Uh, well, Gene, I was uh, you were watching the uh, the game uh, during the podcast, right? And I was asking you about oh, Kobe yeah. King, right? Little did we know that Kobe King was not even playing. Oh, on what's that wrong game? with him? Uh well uh, he did not travel with the team to Iowa for that game, oh. and shortly thereafter announced that he was leaving the Badgers entirely. Oh boy, Kobe, gotta hang in there, overcome adversity. Uh, he said in the Instagram post, "This has been a very tough decision for me. However, after spending almost three years in the Wisconsin program, I realized that this program is not right fit for me as a player and a person." Oh, so he hasn't been playing at all. Ooh. Well. So Gene, I uh, again, this is a uh, the, the the star from Lacrosse Central. Yeah. My uh, my high school. Pretty impressive. And uh, actually won state championship with uh, Central, so he's actually brought some glory. Well, to the Red from, Raiders. Nobody from my high school has ever played uh, the, on Iowa, so that's impressive. Yeah. So pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> of course, I graduated uh, probably 15 years earlier, so I had nothing to no, you know can't can't take any credit for it. <coughs> And now um, he can go to Oshkosh or some small school. So, so I'm not really following this guy, but I uh, do have a good friend who uh, follows the Badgers pretty well. And I, I got his uh, opinion on him. Is this also, I'm thinking to myself now, is this a guy that's actually really, really good? Mm. And he's just being stymied in the uh, Wisconsin Badgers pass first, defense right, first, right. Uh, you know, s- scheme. And, uh, well, I looked up some stats. Apparently he was injured for most of the year last year, well, maybe two years ago. Uh, and he's basically doubled his points. But oh. he's he's only averaging like 10 points a game, so he's not exactly uh, – Oh, well, he is he's exactly uh, Pete, Pistol Pete. Yeah, but, I mean, he is getting some time. Well, I guess he wasn't getting enough time All or right. they weren't doing well. the schemes or whatever. Or the yeah. n- and apparently, there's been a lot of grumbling about Greg Gard, the uh, the assistant coach they, that was promoted to head coach. Yeah, they uh, don't, after they, Bo Ryan they don't knocked score up a lot, right. someone. Yeah, Bo Ryan. So uh, Bo mm. Ryan. Yeah. So and then uh, also I read that Bo Ryan retired about three months after Kobe King, like uh, you know what he uh, what he called it, said he was going to Wisconsin, declared for Wisconsin. So Kobe King thought he was going to be playing for Bo Ryan. Oh. So. I think uh all right well, so it's one of those things where he just he's not used to uh you know being told to pass instead of like yeah. going to the I, I don't know well. uh but there's a lot of grumbling that Greg Gard is a uh, asshole uh. and uh they're not playing very well although they did beat uh, Michigan um as you Michigan said so State. yep um and also you know I think he's got a point there like being a Wisconsin kid you want to play for the Badgers forever but then when you get there and you're like, uh, <laughs> "What are we doing? We're 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 doing uh, five passes and then shoot." Uh, is that? I mean, this is yeah. they've always they're doing like Hoosier that. type basketball. Yeah, that's like, how they played against Iowa. Like they're 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 more conservative than uh, James Naismith. Or is it John? There you go. Who's yeah? That's right. James Naismith, right? Yeah. Pete ja- Basket. J- James Naismith wasn't right. even this conservative for basketball. Yeah. 
Uh, but now, you know, this poor, well, I'm going to say this poor kid because he had to quit on his team. A lot of Kobe King talk there. Not, not we can't. Jeez. <laughs> now he has to sit out a whole year to get uh, transferred. So well, they and the, the Big Ten, I like what they're doing. They're going to let kids transfer their first time right away. As long they, as to Iowa. I, well, I they used to have all these weird rules, but the Big Ten hopefully is setting away. They're sa- letting kids just transfer to wherever they want. Yeah. All right. All right, so uh, we're, we're going to move on, Gene. All right, thank um, goodness. The NBA All Star team yes. is uh, coming up. Awesome. And uh, have you have you seen these new rules that they're going to yeah, have? Yeah, they're very confusing. They're changing this up. I still wait. I know how it works now. Whatever you score at the end of third period, then you add twenty four to it, and you got to get to that. Yeah, so it's basically almost uh, you need to win each quarter. You got each quarter like matters, like uh, the points of the quarter matters, and then depending on the difference, it's added at the end of the game or something like that. So the fourth quarter, so you may have to make up like ten or twelve points, yeah, or something like if that. If you have eighty points after three quarters, you got to get to one fourteen to win. Well, it depends on what their other team is. Well, playing, right? yeah, if the other team's got seventy points, then they got to get. Well, I have the rule. We're not going to go, Gene. If you didn't yeah, like the, okay, if you okay. didn't like the we Kobe King talk, uh, you're yeah. not going to like the uh, NBA. All-Star. I know. I mean, I think they might be overthinking this one. I like the 24 and eight jerseys, but this one's really. Uh, well, Gene, I, uh, you know, I, I don't like. You know, it seems like uh, I'm way ahead. Oh, okay. Of the curve because well, you, yeah. I had an idea. I think I was 12 years old. Okay. After what, Gene? You know, I've hated basketball since a long time. All right. Long time. Well, then you should be explaining. That. And. Um, you know, because the whole point is the the only exciting part is the last two minutes of a game, right? Uh, no. But y- and no. even then, you know, you got all these goddamn free throws and all these falls and all this stuff. But who cares, Gene? Uh, six minutes left in the first quarter. Right, right. I mean, you 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 got the tr- sound turned off. Yeah. You know. Right. You're not you're not paying attention. No. You're not. Th- you're thinking about Kobe King. Right. Not at all. Well, so let's you know let's let's turn this into uh, you know each quarter means something or every little thing means second let's have a five minute you know maybe a five minute like game or whatever and make it like volleyball wow you know like each game you know there's each quarter is like a game and whoever yeah. wins that game you know you have to win three games oh, or four I games see. or something like that so yeah. they're playing really hard for like five minutes right and then uh depending on how many of these like make like a set call it they call it a set okay how about that all right you know yeah so just play for five minutes Play your asses off. Okay, now it's a new set. Play your ass off. Whoever gets four or five or seven, I don't know. Pick a number. I The thing is, I, people uh, don't care. They just want to see their, the players running around. And then, uh, I mean. They just yeah. want to see dunks. Yeah, they just, they, who cares? I mean, <laughs> it's just that, I mean they, the, the fans, they just want to see their favorite players running around. You know, <laughs> so. But yeah, okay. I, well, I said I was gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna watch. I, I've never <laughs> watched. You're gonna watch the All Star game? No. All right. Um. All right. Uh, oh boy. Now we're gonna talk about some baseball. We got mm. some baseball news. Uh, Chicago Cubs third baseman Chris Bryant mm. lost his grievance against the team in which he sought right. an extra year of service time, ensuring he won't become a free agent until after the 2021 season. Source be familiar with the ruling told ESPN. Hey, so, sorry, Chris. Right. Remember all those uh, all those hits you got us? Yeah. We don't owe you shit. Hey, they're doing what any any every other team in the league would it would have done the same thing. I'm not saying it's right. They should change the rules. But the Cubs. Uh, hey, look it. They got two more years of. I love them. I don't know if he's going to be here when the season starts. I hope he doesn't go to. Uh, I, I well, hope pay him, right? Gene, why don't you pay him? He, he deserves the money, right? He, they are paying. They're paying him eighteen million. They've always paid him. They tried to negotiate a long-term contract, but Scott Boris doesn't want any part of it. He'll get. He'll he, get thirty million. He's smart. Mm, he'll get like thirty million, right? He wants Rendon money, and I don't. I don't. Oh. What is uh? What did dude make? What's dude making for the uh, Phillies? Is he making thirty-five He's or thirty? Thirty. Bryce probably, Harper. Yeah. Or yeah. Is he thirty? Thirty. Yep. Yeah. Cause, and that's a long term contract. Yeah, that's tough. Well, know. Gene, the uh, the baseball, the way it works is pretty messed up. So basically, a team can claim you and basically k- 
keep you at this minor league contract yeah. for like six years or but even longer than that. They're gonna. That's gonna change. Hopefully. And then by these guys, by the time these guys are like twenty eight, yep, and their uh, right. their their prime years are pretty much sap. You know, they're yeah, because they used to get a big contract at twenty eight. Now, now it's different. Now it changes. It's like prove it, prove yourself. Yeah. But so uh, we'll th- this is why we'll see a strike because a guy like Chris Bryant. Well, they they gotta yeah they need well that's that that's up to the p- yeah players figure that one out oh. fight for whatever fight same for these uh, young kids who yeah. uh, speak in Spanish. Uh, you know, and same thing with the NFL. You guys, yeah, but you got to fight on your hands. But you know, <laughs> they're not gonna go on strike. The NFL, p- I don't think that's that'd be tough. Well, that ain't going to change No, if they don't go on strike. All right, and then Gene, uh, yeah. one of our old favorites. I, this is shocking. Well, Gene, if uh, – He you know, coached the Cubs. Of course. He <laughs> managed the Cubs. Of course he did. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, well, Gene, you know, uh, the Astros recently have fired their manager for uh, stealing signs, an elaborate scheme of stealing signs. So Houston uh, needs a new manager. And uh, Gene, is it 2002? <laughs> I know that's when he was managing. Because like, uh, Dusty yeah. Baker was announced as the manager. I I was shot. Has uh, he? I'm like what? Has anyone ever done less with more? He's had some really good teams. Well, Gene, uh, Sammy Sosa ain't ain't coming through that door. Right, Gene. right, right. He had Sammy at his Barry prime Bonds. Star- Barry Bonds. Uh, Barry Bonds ain't coming through that right. door. And look at all those years with the Nationals. Br- Bryce We're Harper? Right. He ain't coming through that door. Yeah. And if they do, they're going to be old and gray. Oh, my God. Well, maybe, hey, listen, maybe I'll work out. I don't want it to work out because I don't want the Astros to win. I want them to be punished forever. <laughs> and Dusty, I don't. Uh, mm. Dusty Baker on his next 10 days. I got to pack. Have you ever packed for seven months? That's a long time. So it seems like this is a little short notice on everyone's right, part. Right, right. I got to prune my grapes. I got work to do. I got to see my grandchild. Got to go see my son. Got to make sure my dogs don't have ticks or worms. I got a lot to do. Yeah. Uh, Dusty, uh, what were you doing about uh, the last week or so? How how about you check the dogs for uh, ticks or worms uh, a week ago? Let's not put that off. And I don't think he's big analytics guy. I don't know. Gene, if uh, someone was like, yo, hey, Gene, your dog may have worms. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll wait till next week. Check it out. Yeah. Hopefully I don't get a, magin- ma- a managing job. Right. In that meantime. I'm su- I'm surprised by this. They're they're kind of reeling. But, yeah, maybe I, I actually kind of happy because maybe I'll help screw up the Astros. Well, uh, Gene, can you imagine the conversations between him and Altuve? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just I like know. saying the word Altuve. Yeah. Um, all right, well, Gina, I'm going to save everyone the suspense, and we'll just, uh, we're going to cut to the chase and yeah. cut. We're going to pretend it's October 1st, 2023. Yeah. Uh, news out of Houston today Dusty Baker fired. Yeah, for sure. Well, he'll be lucky to make it through two years. They'll make the playoffs, and then they'll have some um, magical flame out. Or may- maybe, maybe they'll, they'll get they'll swept. Win. Yeah. Gosh, he's been terrible. No, boy, he's got worse. Success in the postseason. He's like the end. opposite of Andy Reid. Yeah, yeah. He's oh, he, yeah. Well, uh, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't well, have done God. it. So. I mean, there's no one. There's no one in the Astros system. I mean, I guess they I couldn't don't. grab someone from the system because they're all cheaters. I guess, yeah. huh? There's no no other no other uh, black managers that are like in the minors. You could promote. Right. We gotta we gotta like reheat this old dinosaur. That chicken that, nuggets. Man, talk about retread. That's the maximum retread. God, I'll tell you what, the agent, must have, Altuve's agent must be the same as uh, Dusty Baker's agent because uh, that that's the only possible explanation here is that the agent is twisting the owner's arm, right, to hire him right. or something? Hi, hire yeah, old Dusty, and I will, uh, I'll get Altuve to, uh, yeah. you know, take $5 million less. God, the b- spring train pitchers and catchers are going to be there in the next week, I think, <laughs> or 10 days. Oh Dusty Baker God. is on his first day. They'll be like, Coach, what do you want us to focus on? Well, uh, I don't know, but uh, let me tell you some more Willie Mays stories. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, he used to roam. He used to be a up. I remember, gosh, for the Dodgers. Oh, that was played for the Dodgers, ago. right? He San played Francisco. played for the Dodgers for a long time. Yeah. Wow. Anyway. All right. Well, Gene, that was uh, that was the show. 
Hey, my big announcement, I'm going to my, I, I bit the bullet, and I'm going to see Kiss in concert. They said this is the last, they said, that, so I'm trusting this is their farewell tour. Did, didn't Gene Simmons just, like, get burned or something like that? Yeah, or didn't he, didn't he get injured? But it's really cool because David Lee Roth is their opener. I think that's pretty neat. Oh, God. <laughs> but they're, I think it's Is Dusty Baker going to show I, up at I any know. time? And it, it's called the End of the World Tour, something like that. Who knows if it's the end, but I'm going to go see him. Yeah. Are they all going to drink bleach I afterwards? Guess they're probably, I've never, I don't, I don't. I don't know much about. I mean, I know Kiss, but I've never seen them. Have you been? You're not like a Kiss fan, no, right? Do you, not have, really. have you, do you have an album? Do you no, have a Kiss nothing. album? No, I was never. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I never got. Kiss. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to see them. So. I don't know. Well, Gene, you gotta do one thing. Lo- yeah, Gene, you can say uh, you saw Kiss. Uh, well, the reason was when they announced uh, David Lee Roth was with them. Then I was like, okay, that that's good. Enough. Have you have you met David Lee Roth? N- no, I saw him play. On Hollywood Boulevard, it was really cool. With uh, he, was, they're doing Jimmy Kimmel, and they were out on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, that's the only. Okay. So I didn't really get a chance to introduce myself. So uh, okay. Yeah. All righty. Well, uh, great, great stuff as always. Hey, happy Groundhog! Because the Groundhog came out, I hope that's right. But then I read he's only right thirty nine percent of the time. How's that possible? It's, he's got a fifty fifty chance. Shouldn't he be right fifty percent of the time? Well, uh, uh, I don't, Gene. I'm not a scientist, okay? <laughs> okay. Hey, hopefully by next week, into all the 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 Iowa caucuses well, will be over, and then hopefully the corn coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, uh, the Midwest probably the safest place to be. Iowa is probably the safest place to be right yeah. now. Yeah. And uh, you know, we we got and Gene. I'm on the subway and I see all these Asian people like wearing. Face masks right. and all this stuff. I'm like, uh, do you guys know something I don't? Like, what's I know, going on? Man, I'm thinking, wow. Mm, yeah. All right. All right. Well, Gene, I think the, that'll right. be it. It's been fun as always. So for uh, Gene Steichen, <laughs> my name is Chris Stotts. It's the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah.